Whether you're looking to back up your files, sync across devices, or simply keep your digital life organized, OneDrive has got you covered. But have you set it up right? Let me show you how. OneDrive is a great option for cloud storage. Whether it's files or photos, you can access all of your stuff across multiple devices. But how do you set it up on your Mac right the first time? Let me show you how. And stick around until the end because I will be sharing some of my pro tips on how to make the most out of OneDrive features. What is OneDrive? Before we jump into the installation, let's quickly talk about what OneDrive actually is. OneDrive is Microsoft's cloud storage service that lets you store files and photos online and access them from anywhere. It's perfect for syncing files across your devices, sharing documents, and ensuring your important files are backed up. Installing OneDrive on your Mac. Alright, let's get OneDrive installed on your Mac. Step one is to download the OneDrive app. So go to the App Store and search for OneDrive for the Mac. Then download it. And once it's downloaded, open up the app to start the installation. Once you have it installed, you just need to go to the top and you will see a little cloud icon that is grey. And you click on that, a window will open asking you to put in your email address. So put in the email address for the OneDrive account you want to connect and then enter your password to sign in. Then just click through any of the responses. So make sure you know you don't want to send any data. And then you then need to pick where you want to put your OneDrive folder. The default is usually the best option, but if you did want to change it, just click on the change location and you can just select where you want the folder to go. Then just click through. If it asks you if you want to change to premium, then ignore that. Click through the instructional bits. If you want to read them, then carry on. If you want to download the phone app, you can do that later. And then just click open my folder and it will open up the folder that you have just connected. Setting up OneDrive on your Mac. Now we have OneDrive installed, let's set it up to sync all your files. To select what to sync, go to the little cloud in the top and select the settings cog. Then go to preferences. Go to the account tab and select choose folders. Now you can decide what you want to sync to the OneDrive app on your Mac. Once you're done, click OK. Using OneDrive. Great, now that OneDrive is all set up, let's explore how to use it. Accessing your files. You can access your OneDrive files directly from Finder. You just need to find the OneDrive folder, which will have appeared in the sidebar. To add files to OneDrive, simply drag and drop them into the OneDrive folder, and then you will see them automatically to start syncing with the little arrows. To share a file or folder, simply right click and select share. You can then invite people via email or get a shareable link. Also, you can decide how much access those people will have, whether they can edit, they can just view it, and even view it and not be able to download. OneDrive also allows you to mark files and folders to be available offline. Simply right click on the file or folder and select always keep on this device. So you don't need to be connected to the internet to be able to use your files. My top tips. Here are a few pro tips to get the most out of OneDrive on your Mac. Tip one, enable files on demand. Save space on your Mac by enabling files on demand. This feature keeps your files in the cloud and only downloads them when you need them. To set up enable files on demand, click on the OneDrive cloud icon in your menu bar, then go to the settings cog and select preferences. In the Preferences tab, the first one that opens, under Files on Demand, select either Download them as you use them or Download all files now. So select Files on Demand and it will save you a ton of space. Tip 2. Free up space. With all this downloading, you might start running out of space, so you can quickly free up space on your OneDrive folder by simply right-clicking on that folder and select Free Up Space. Then OneDrive will pop everything back up into the cloud for you and save you all that space. Tip 3. Set up two-factor authentication. 
people are always trying to get your stuff. So make sure that two-factor authentication is set up for your account, so you have to approve any login. To set up two-factor authentication for OneDrive, the current process is as follows, but no doubt this will change over time as these things always do. So go to your Microsoft account and log in with your normal credentials. Then go to your initials in the top right-hand corner and select my Microsoft account. Go to security, then select two-factor from the top right menu. Then you have to verify that you are you using either a current email address or a code or whatever you've set up. Once you're in your account, scroll down to the additional security section and select to set up two-step verification, turn on. Then click next. Then you have to go over to your phone and download the Microsoft Authenticator app on your phone and log in with the account you're trying to set up. Your phone will probably ask you to go through this verification step again, but once you're in, you can then click next and you're all set up. Then you will have a recovery code as well that you will need to print out should you ever get stuck. But you are now way safer than you were. And there you have it. Installing and using OneDrive on your Mac is a breeze and it's a powerful tool to keep your files organized and accessible. But what about setting it up on your phone? Check out this video next to find out how. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe for more top tips. Have fun rediscovering your memories. I'll see you in my next video.